I am Lucas Mack, and I'm on a mission to see the hurting get healed and the healed go out and heal others in order for all of us to experience the true love and light we desire. This podcast is me sharing my journey with you so you don't feel alone in your journey. Welcome to the Golden Rule Revolution. Hello, brothers and sisters. Welcome to another episode of the Golden Rule Revolution. I am Lucas Mack. Thank you for joining. Thank you for being on this journey. Um, you know, I wish we could all have a conversation and be on this Zoom together, be in a room together and just talk. I would love to hear how you guys are doing. What, what are you listening to? What are you watching right now? What are you seeing? What are you thinking? And what's coming up through all of it? I have had some incredible realizations lately. I did this meditation on Sunday and I went live with Gordana Burnett. We've been doing this live series every, every Sunday for the past month, few months in the morning. And I shared this really crazy story about an aunt who beat me while she was butt ass naked. Um, it's an insane. It's, it was, ins- it's insane. I still have the vivid images of her in my, like burned in my mind. It's crazy. And for a long time, it caused a lot of shame, a lot of embarrassment, a lot of confusion. Like what the heck? Um, cause I was told to put my bag. I was staying the night at, at um, their house and I was told to put my bag by the door. I did only the door I put it by was the bedroom door that I had stayed in the bedroom. And she said, again, put your bag by the door. And I was confused. I remember thinking, well, maybe it's not close enough to the door. So I slid it over a few more inches. And then next thing I know, she comes in butt naked, (laughs) starts beating me. And she said, I told you to put your bag by the door. And I was like, I did. And she's like, I meant the front door. So that was crazy. That was a crazy experience that happened to me when I was, I'm not sure, maybe 11 years old or so. But, um, and I've had the craziest life. (laughs) Holy cow. It's been a bizarre, bizarre life, but I had that experience. And then I've had two other experiences that were similar. And I reason I'm bringing all this up is I did this meditation on Sunday after my live with Gordana Burnett. And I happened to share a story about my aunt in that live. Um, it just popped up. She mentioned a story about her aunt. I said, I have a funny aunt story. I shared that story, but later I was in meditation and I had this beautiful meditation, just incredible meditation. And in the meditation, I see that story of my aunt come to surface and I see these other stories come to surface. Now the other stories have happened within the past um, two years. And one time I gave a keynote talk at uh, the HR PSMI, the HR Professionals Association. And you can find this talk online. I think it's one of the greatest talks. I think it was needed. And I talk about, you never know who you're going to impact. And I talk about, um, I give a quote by Rabbi uh, Schneerson, who says that the world is still a garden. It's just our job to dig it out, expose the good uh, amidst from the bad. So I reference that quote. And then I also tell the story about John Newton, uh, who was a slave trader and then became a preacher and an abolitionist. And the little boy in the church that he preached at uh, was listening to this abolitionist preach about the evils of slavery and became in parliament later on in life, William Wilberforce, who was friends with William Pitt Jr. And they lead the abolitionist movement in the British parliament and slavery was abolished in 1805 or 1806. A beautiful story about you never know who you're impacting. So lead with love, lead with authenticity, lead with (laughs) just know that you could be impacting the great leader in the next generation. That was the talk. Me, personally, I think it was a great talk. I think everyone needed to hear it. I asked for feedback and the feedback was it was highly offensive. And And I was paid well for this keynote talk. And they said that it was highly offensive. People complained that I talked about religion. People complained I talked about slavery. 
I'm like, what the heck? It was a really important talk, like some a talk from my soul, talking to other souls. Like, wait, now I did get great feedback. There were many people I've built relationships uh, with since who heard that talk, but the consensus was from the officials of the organization that the talk was offensive. Then a year later, uh, I am emceeing this um, event with very powerful people on the planet. And I give a talk about the beauty of humanity and I was fired um, and sent home, <laughs> flown home for halfway across the world because they said that it wasn't about the beauty of humanity. And, and uh, it was just a crazy story. I don't want to go into the details of that, but it was, it was crazy. All three came up in this meditation and all three are the exact same trauma bond, trauma loop, trauma cycle in me. And in the meditation, I asked myself where, or ask God, I asked, where does my anxiety, I still have this like low current anxiety in me and no more from my, my in personal family dynamics, but I still have this anxiety. And I was asking, where does this anxiety come from? And that's when these three scenarios popped up. And what is similar, why they're the exact same is all three of those experiences. I, I was doing the right thing. I wasn't trying to be disrespectful. I was trying to be honoring and loving to people and I put my bag by the door or I was giving this message to help inspire people to treat people like people and nothing less to honor humanity, to love people. Or when I was on the cruise or on this event with the global elite, I was talking about the beauty of humanity and I thought this is a great message. And I was fired, told I was offensive and I was beat in reverse order. And that is, I was shown as what causes anxiety because I'm stepping into more. I am, I, there are a lot of things I'm working on right now, stepping into more, speaking more, to shine more, to grow more, to expand more, to be more, to enlarge more in this world, in this dimension, to lead humanity in the infinite and unconditional love of the most high God, the one infinite creator to wash us all thoroughly and thoroughly that we may be free And to go to any place where there's darkness with anyone and hold space so that we can liberate our souls from those trauma bonds, from those trauma loops. This is where I'm going. This is what's happening. This is where humanity is going. And yet I still had this underlying current of anxiety. So these three things were revealed to me in the meditation. And I, and I released, I just, I have chills right now. I just released all the anxiety back to the earth. It's released it back into the earth. Take it from me. I ground it into the earth. <sighs> Make me cry right now. And man. <laughs> And in that releasing, I felt such overwhelming and beautiful and powerful love, the love of God and, and peace that I had experienced in that moment. And it was so beautiful. And I was asking in the meditation, what does heaven mean? One of the gifts that God has given me is to see words, the English language and to break it down to reclaim the intent of the word, the origin of the word, the original meaning of the word, so that we don't let the perpetrators definitions of these words cloudy our judgment, but we reclaim the power of the words. So I was asking, what does heaven mean? And I, I was shown that it's a conjunction of heart and even heaven is a balanced heart. A balanced heart, my dear brother and sister, is heaven. And we are to bring heaven here on earth. To walk in pure love, 
pure light, pure goodness, pure truth, pure beauty, pure joy and gratitude. Heaven is a heart that is even, a balanced heart. And God who is love dwells in the highest heaven where there is only love. And we are to bring that love, receive that love here on earth. Earth also rearranged this heart. There are no accidents. The heart and the earth actually vibrate at the same frequency. There are no accidents. So heaven is the heart in balance. And as I saw this, and I, as I released this anxiety, and as I was in this really beautiful and very profound meditation, as I came out of it, I was reminded that the mysteries that we get to play with and st- learn and study and research and and learn from are found in our stillness and in that stillness when we ask. Ask origin questions. Ask where things come from. And when you ask, you will be shown. Ask and you shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened to you, my dear brother and sister. There is nothing that God who is love Love will withhold from you when you ask. So I share that. I share my journey as always. So it can be a blessing in your journey. I share my journey so it can be a blessing in your journey. And even if it's just one of you, one person on this planet that says, not alone. There's someone else out there that is worth everything. Dear brother and sister, you're worth your freedom and your freedom begins in finding the courage to step through the fear and ask, ask everything you want. You are worthy of all that you desire, worthy of all that you seek. In fact, the, 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 the person you actually think you are, the one you're unwilling to admit to others and to yourself is who you really are. You really are special. You really are unique. You really are beautiful and profound and and impactful in this world. And just because the 3D matrix said, what skills can you provide to benefit the matrix? And you're like, well, I'm not really sure. I, I, I don't know if I fit in. I'm not sure where and what and how all this thing works out. And I'm, no, the person that you really think you are, That's who you are. And that is not found in the matrix. That is found before the matrix was ever created and will exist long after the matrix dissolves away. So I bless you with that. I bless you with knowing you're not alone and that you are beautiful inside and out, upside and down, interdimensionally, outer dimensionally, all ways so that you can find heaven on earth with the balanced heart. So I love you all. I bless you all. I'm Lucas Mack. This is the Golden Rule Revolution, and I will talk to you on the next episode. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for listening. For support in your journey, go to my website, lucasmack.com.